SportsNola.com, UNO, the newest member of the Southland Conference. Pleased to be joined by our good friend, Southland Conference Commissioner Tom Burdett, in for the announcement today. Tom, you mentioned, the, the, I think the words you used were, this was like a steal. How important is the New Orleans market beyond UNO? How important is the New Orleans market to the Southland? Well, you know, as I mentioned in the press conference, with my background here in the city, I, I, I knew a lot of things, and, and personally, I thought this was going to happen when, after my first conversation with Dr. Foss back in January, but there's a process. We had to go through it, and it culminates today with the announcement. But, you know, this city, you know, our schools, you know, whether it's Southeastern, Nichols, whoever, are going to pull regular students out of this market to go to their campuses. And so the city's always important to us. We're going to recruit student athletes out of the, you know, the, the New Orleans area, North Shore, West Bank, what have you, in the city, uh, Jeff Parrish. Um, so it's always important to us. But to now be here on a regular basis, compete in the city, uh, I, I just think that's just a huge bonus for us. And, uh, you know, that's what I, I, I mentioned. It's kind of like a steal for us. We, I feel like we got away with something here, and it's just in, in the most positive sense that uh, – um, you know, when people understand the history of this institution, the facilities they have, uh, it's nothing but positives. It's really off the charts. You've got a history here in this town. Personally, how satisfying is it to be able to come back here and bring a program that you know the history that goes here to, to bring them into your league? Well, personally, it, it's been very gratifying. And uh, it's certainly, you know, I was watching things from a distance uh, the past couple of years. And it personally had some my own angst and, you know, uh, concern about what was happening here at the campus. But, you know, I, I think that uh, knowing and getting to meet Dr. Foss, you know, talking to people like Ron Maestri that are, you know, so very much at the core of this institution, its athletic program, uh, it's very obvious that, you know, they want to be successful in the future. We think we can provide that for them. Um, and I, I just think it's just a win-win for everyone. And, you know, in our league, too, you're going to have a chance to be competitively successful. You know, there's not a program in our conference that can't build something and win and we're proud of that and, and that's something that we think gives everyone a fighting chance and you know over time it's going to be a big challenge for our programs to compete with UNO. I, I would assume that they'll get things going again and we remember back in the 80s and 90s and the great baseball and the basketball and the other sports that are so good and I really think it's going to be a positive but that's what we want. We want a kind of a rising tide lifts all boats and we need UNO to be good. As you've talked to the UNO folks here over the last six, seven months, have you sensed a resurgence within the within the people in this community? Yeah, and I can pick up on the excitement, and I know that was addressed in the press conference as well. But and that's kind of a message from us as well is that if there's anyone out there who thinks the future is uncertain here, they're mistaken now. That the future for UNO athletics is secure. Uh, we, we got a great Division One conference. We're going to be able to provide them a lot of the competitive opportunities that perhaps they would have uh, missed out on had they continued down that path they were on for a while. So we, we, I, I'm really excited. So if anyone has been waiting to get involved or give to this university, this athletic program, uh, the time is now to get back involved. Southland Conference Commissioner Tom Burnett, thanks for your time. And stay with SportsNola.com for coverage of the UNO move to the Southland. SportsNola.com, please now to be joined by... UNO head men's basketball coach Mark Schlesinger and coach you're a veteran of the Southland Conference the the news today that UNO is joining the Southland it's got to be like old home week for you I guess yeah it's an unbelievable step forward for our university an unbelievable step forward uh, for the Southland Conference I think that you know it, it's a win-win on both sides it's great for me to be back in a league that I love um, a league that I really feel is one of the undervalued and under uh, underappreciated leagues in, in college basketball. I think, you know, our level of basketball in that league is unbelievable. It's off the charts. And having been in those wars for 11 years uh, and had a lot of success, I'm excited to be back in it and see some old friends and some old rivals again. Having four built-in rivals within the state of Louisiana has got to be very important, not just for you, but all of your brethren in the in the coaching community here on this campus. Yeah, I think so. I think being able to have a draw immediately where uh, not just uh, family and friends from outside of the state can come and watch them another time, uh, but I think you know these schools are going to have a great draw coming to New Orleans. 
Uh, teams are going to be able to make a weekend out of it. I think it's going to really help our attendance. I think it's going to be able to give people a destination to go to to catch a doubleheader, whether it's us in Nichols or us in Southeastern. Uh, but then, you know, you know, Lamar being right across the border is a very, very short trip, and same with Stephen F. So, uh, and Houston Baptist adding in there. So we got a great regional uh, conference going forward from here in. But most importantly, I think from your from your end and from, from UNO's end, is not being an independent and having an affiliation. This was the, Southland was the best case scenario in terms of conference affiliation, but having a conference affiliation probably even supersedes that more. Oh, there's no doubt. There's been an immediate impact for us um, from the recruiting trail just in the last few days of Ward getting out about this. Uh, it's a great impact for our student athletes to know that we're playing for something tangible uh, in 13 and having a chance to win a conference championship. Uh, and it's just a huge step forward uh, as our athletic department with Dr. Foss uh, talking about moving forward and showing that UNO is growing and not, not going away. You know, we're here to stay and we're here to grow and we're proud to represent the, un the university and the city. For you and so many of the other coaches who maybe bought in at an uncertain time for this university, now seeing the definite path that you're on, knowing that those bricks are laid, has got to be huge as well. Oh, it's it's a dream come true. You know, you, you, we came in here with a lot of faith. Uh, the, you know, my coaching colleagues that are here already, they've, they've put their time, life, and hearts into this and have been through uh, many, many years of ups and downs, more than me, and uh, they're commended. And, and, you know, they're the heartbeat, as Derek said. They're the heartbeat of this of this athletic department, and, and I'm really, really blessed to work with, with great people on, on in, all, in all of our head coaches and their assistants in the sports and their commitment level uh, to the student-athletes and the UNO and the city is off the charts. UNO head basketball coach Mark Schlesinger joining us here on SportsNola.com. Stay with SportsNola for more on UNO joining the Southland.